Hey, I um, have been reading a U version plan by Francis and Lisa Chan. It's called You and Me Forever Marriage in Light of Eternity. And um, it's been very convicting, very convicting. Um, and I felt like the Lord really wanted me to share um, day number 10. Um, I highly recommend this entire uh, plan. It's, it's incredible. Daniel and I are going through it together. But this is what I feel like the Lord wants you guys to hear, whomever it may be for. When all that's left is dry bones. The Bible gives some powerful images of what it looks like to be alive in Christ through the power of the Spirit. No imagery is as powerful as Ezekiel's vision in the valley of dry bones. God shows Ezekiel a valley that is full of nothing but bones that have been baking in the sun so long that they are all dried out. There is no hint of life, no reason for hope. And yet, as God's word, God's words flow out of Ezekiel's mouth over these desolate valley, over this desolate valley, the bones begin to rattle as they reassemble, become covered with muscles and skin, and transform into living beings. What had been a cemetery became an exceedingly great army. This is the power of God in the human heart. The level of death and despair and dysfunction in your life and in your marriage is irrelevant. Allow Ezekiel's powerful imagery to infuse hope into your soul. Let it fill your imagination. What could God do in your life and marriage? What do you believe he wants to do? Are you ready for him to do it? Discuss with your spouse what thoughts does Ezekiel's imagery stir up in you and with regard to your marriage. And uh, the second half of the devotional leads you to Ezekiel 36, verse 25 through 27. And uh, I think there's another, another section of scripture there, but... I just want to encourage you guys, it doesn't matter what your marriage looks like, you could be within a few steps of divorce. Like literally, you could be on the courthouse steps and decide, this is not what the Lord wants. Let's try this again, and let's do it the right way with Him as the foundation. Because I'm, I'm a strong believer that the Bible's right in that divorce is a very disgusting thing to God and I think beautiful things can happen for sure after you've had a divorce but why would you put yourself or if you have kids through that so I just want to encourage you guys to focus on what God wants you to do with your marriage and it could really really surprise you Stop thinking about what you want out of your marriage. That's been like a huge thing for me. Stop focusing so much on what I want, what I'm not getting, um, what he should be giving to me. Focus instead on, on God and let him be the foundation and get involved in a really good Bible reading plan um, like the one that Francis Chan has because it will change your life if you're willing to follow it. So that's kind of what I feel like the Lord wanted to say to you guys. And please check that plan out if you want your marriage to get better. Thank you guys.